Hello. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. I've got. I've got a few. I've got a. <laughs> I've got a few um, poems. A couple of these are short. And they're more like prayers. And one of them um, I'm rehashing from last year, just because I, I have not been that for a few weeks. So lately. So anyway, this first one is untitled. <clears throat> The sand dunes here may collapse and swallow me whole, and the sea air may be my only hope for resurgence. O oh, Jesus, author of the waves, purveyor of the surf, your blazing sun is my splendor and my shield, guarding me from the thickest, darkest storms. Alone here on this shore, never abandoned, I could drown in your currents and be unwaveringly safe, each island a testament to your ever-standing rock, each passing ship a streak of infinite time, forever I will rise along this beach, and gaze upon your and gaze upon you with your shining, sea glimmering eyes. <clears throat> this is called sunrise. This beachhead where they came, pilgrims ragged with shine in their eyes. The sun rises, the sun sets. The uncertainty of currents gives to the safety of the standing stand. The sun rises, the sun sets. Here we are, born of flesh, upon the dust from where we came, fragile before our fiery light. The sun rises, the sun sets. This beautiful temporal place gives way to that beautiful temporal eternal. Your fiery light bursts and fades away. The sun rises, the sun sets. Okay, and this last one is called The Broken Wanderer. All I remember was this trial, this tribunal, and all those who judged spoke with distorted language, with a breath that burned my ears and purged my eyes. And the guards tied my hands behind me, and as soon as my sight returned, they blinded me with cloth, painted a number on me, left me to languish out on the dark desert road, and all the houses along the road and in the town had black paper taped over the windows, so I could see no light. And every lamp on the street was dark. And there I wandered. And I tripped into a ditch. And my leg was wounded. So I limped along just knowing I had to keep charging. Exhausted and nearly dead. But I knew I had to keep charging. I could just rest a minute right here. But no, I had to keep charging. And wandering. Wandering seemingly helpless in the dark. Wandering and it's getting colder. Wandering and crying and praying wandering and crying and praying louder. And suddenly I saw in the distant sky one descending light landing on a glistening diamond sea. And I walked closer, and before long I was wading in the water. And I saw in the further distance a ship with a staircase and with four pairs of hands lifting me up and many others on crew applauding my arrival. God has granted safety to all those who are sailing with you, so keep up your courage, for I have faith in God that it will be exactly as I have been told, but we will have to run aground on some island. That's from Acts 24 to 26. Thank you.